It's a little daunting to think that the Bees only have one run. It's pretty tough to hold on to a one-run lead against this ball club. Bottom of the eighth inning, and the Bees leading one to nothing. Raul Alcantara on the mound. First batter he'll face here in the bottom of the eighth is Yadiel Rivera. After Rivera, Adrian Williams, and then Lance Renicki, the leadoff man. He's in the hole. Well, Rivera's 0 for 2, but again, in a one to nothing game in which both teams have four hits, neither defense has committed error as the first pitch misses inside. It just reminds you of the importance of every pitch in this game. One mistake and the game is time. Pitch up and in. Rivera has to get out of the way. 2-0. and And again, the Bees have had trouble with Rivera this season. In 14 games, he's hitting 302. A couple of home runs. Had one yesterday. Also has five RBIs. Well, we were talking about the Major League scoreboard. Mentioned Dan Straley getting the start for the A's. As there's a swing and a miss on the 2-0 pitch. 2-1. and Straley, one of the best prospects in the A's organization. Kind of a nice, kind of nice to see a guy who was drafted in the 24th round back in 2009 make it all the way, and even considered one of the best prospects this year. Two-one pitch call to strike. Two and two now against Yadiel Rivera. So again, those are the scores that might interest you. In the AL, we'll discuss the NL in just a moment. Here's the 2-2. Slap to the right side, down the line. That's going to hug the line, get towards the corner. Linda Yetta, all the way to the corner. Rivera's going to have a triple. Rowe will go over to third. Rivera slides in head first. He's in there. Again, one mistake, and it's a whole new game. Not a bad relay by Len Dieta and Fabiashi. Unfortunately, Rivera's just too quick. And they will use a pinch hitter here. As we suspected earlier, Chaz Mai getting warmed up in the pen. Nick Ramirez, a left-handed batter, two up now. Ramirez does not hit left-handed pitching very well. In fact, Ramirez has only hit 186 against South Boss. Compare that to a 285 average against right-handed pitching. So as it becomes official that Ramirez is going to enter the game, here comes Aaron Nicola, and he'll make the switch. That'll be it for Raul Alcantara. Boy, Alcantara really looked perfectly fine. He just gave up one triple, and it was one of those that was just poked down the line and went for that triple. He's leading one to nothing, a runner at third, no outs, bottom of the eighth. A new pitcher coming in. We'll take a quick break for the pitching change. You'll listen to baseball on News Radio 1490, KBUR, KBUR. Welcome back to Beast Baseball on News Radio 1490 KBUR and KBUR.com. Bottom of the eighth inning, Yadiel Rivera with a leadoff triple. He's standing at third base. The Bees clinging to a one to nothing lead. Raul Alcantara out of the game since Nick Ramirez checks in. Ramirez, a left handed slugger. The Bees make a switch. They bring in the left handed pitcher, Chaz Mai. And of course, every Bees pitching change is brought to you by ABC Fire Extinguisher. Chaz Mai will try to put out the fire just like ABC Fire Extinguisher. Whether you are starting a new business or just need an inspection, they want to be the fire service company you call first. Well, Mai comes into the game 3-0 and with a 3.55 ERA. He's appeared in 33 games so far. He pitched yesterday, pitched one inning, allowed one hit, walked a batter and struck out a batter, did not allow a run to score. Bees bullpen came into the game having pitched 16 and two-thirds scoreless innings pitch. Both on 20 consecutive innings without allowing a run. If Rivera scores here. We'll take some time to look at the Major League scoreboard updates since Mai is still finishing up his warm-ups. 
Milwaukee visiting the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals leading 4-3 in the bottom of the sixth inning at Bush Stadium. Cardinals have a record of 56 wins, 49 losses. Milwaukee at 48-56. No home runs so far in that game. And the Cubs are just underway in Los Angeles as they play the Dodgers. Scoreless through one inning. They're headed to the top of the second. Jeff Samarja got the start for the Cubs. Cubs at 43 and 60. The Dodgers at 56 and 50. Nick Ramirez at the plate. Chasmai on the mound. Infield in. Outfield straight away. Runner at third. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. That was a beautiful bender. Call the strike. 0 and 1. That's a very good, intimidating pitch. She throw Ramirez. Again, this is a lefty who struggles against southpaws. So you throw him a big breaking ball, it freezes him. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Another one, a swing and a miss by Ramirez, 0 2. A strikeout here is huge, but as we've mentioned before, a pop out works just as well. Either way, one out with a runner at third is much better. Here's the 0 2. Another breaking ball. Great job by Nick Rickles to keep that in front of him as it hit the ground just behind the plate. One ball, two strikes. Forgot to mention Chad Billingsley on the mound for the Dodgers in that Cubs Dodgers game. One ball, two strikes. On deck, Lance Renneke. Here's the 1 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with another curveball. Four breaking balls from Chaz Mai, and Ramirez didn't stand a chance. How do you see four of them and not figure it out? But now Mai might be coming out of the game. A couple right-handers getting warmed up in the pen. Aaron Nikula walking back out. At this point in the game, Aaron Nikula is going to play the matchups. Lance Renicki at the plate, and he's 0 for 3. He struck out in his last at bat. If Mai does, in fact, come out of the game, he will have done a very good job for Aaron Nikula. And that is it for Mai. Nicely done. A new pitcher coming on. The Bees clinging to a 1 to nothing lead, a runner at third base, one away, bottom of the eighth. We'll take another quick break for the pitching change. You're listening to Bees Baseball on News Radio 1490, KBUR, and KBUR.com. Welcome back to Bees Baseball on News Radio 1490, KBUR and KBUR.com. Bottom of the eighth inning, the Bees leading one to nothing. Yadiel Rivera with a leadoff triple in the bottom of the eighth. Alcantara came out of the game. Chaz Mai came into the game. He struck out Nick Ramirez. That was his assignment as Ramirez was a pinch hitter, a left-handed batter. Mai striking out the lefty in that lefty-to-lefty matchup. Now Lance Renicki at the plate. Renicki, a right-handed batter. And Jonathan Joseph on the mound. Joseph, a right-handed power pitcher. Fastball sits in the low 90s, gets to the mid-90s. Plenty of movement to it. Good curveball, changeup as well. Started the season as a starter. Now a reliever. 1-0 and oh in 22 appearances out of the pen. 10 saves in 10 save opportunities. But I doubt he's inherited a situation like this. A 2.34 ERA as a reliever. Infield playing in. Renicky is definitely looking just to make some contact. It's different when you had Ramirez at the plate. He struggled against Southpaws, and he's one of those guys who's trying to hit a home run or who's trying to really drive the ball. Now, Renicky would love a sack fly RBI, but either way, I think that Renicky in this situation especially if he goes down by a strike, will simply try to put the ball in play. And with the infield in, there are a lot of opportunities for a batter to get that runner in. Oftentimes with Joseph on the mound and a right-hander at the plate, Joseph will bury that tailing fastball in on the hands on a right-handed batter. Renicky 0 for 3, here's the first pitch. It's a pitch out, so maybe that will be the ploy. They'll put the runner on and try to get a double play. Certainly makes sense. We'll see if Rickles steps up again. At the same time, there might have been an attempt to put down a squeeze. Maybe the Bees were trying to avoid that. 
Joseph set at the belt. 1-0 pitch. Up and in. That was not a pitch out. That was a pitch in. Renicky had to get out of the way. Two balls, no strikes. Carlos George on deck. The runner at third is Raul Alcantara's responsibility. Joseph set at the belt. Here's the 2-0. Lifted to the right side. Along the line, this is a pop-up. Muncie moving back. Muncie makes the catch in foul territory. And they will not try to tag up. Nice throw from Muncie back to the plate as well. And a good stop by Nick Rickles. And the runner stays at third. So like we mentioned with Ramirez at the plate, a strikeout is great. Pop-ups work as well. Great play by Max Muncie. A basket over the shoulder catch. With the presence of mind to fire the ball back to home plate. And he threw a strike. That's a huge play. It might be the defensive play of the game just because it was so important. Infield gets to play back except for Wade Kirkland. Carlos George at the plate. He's two for three. First pitch. Call the strike at the letters. 0-1. Outfield playing straight away. Fairly deep. Anything that drops in front of them is going to score the runner anyway. Joseph set at the belt. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball stayed upstairs. One and one. Need to be careful with that curveball. It needs to be sharp. As a reliever, that breaking ball has been sharp. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball right by him. One and two now with two away. The tying run at third base. Again, Joseph perfect in save opportunities. The Bees are asking for a little more out of them here. Runner at third, one to nothing. Bees lead. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. The Bees get out of it after a leadoff triple. They still lead one to nothing as we head to the top of the ninth. You're listening to Bees Baseball on News Radio 1490 KBUR and KBUR.com.